Hey, it's Kaylee. Now we're ready for some harder examples of combining like terms. Make sure you've already completed the intro lesson to combining like terms before starting this one. Let's go. Here we have a really long expression and we need to combine like terms to create an equivalent expression. So let's take a look here. How many terms do we have? We count the things separated by addition and subtraction. It looks like there's six terms. Now what about like terms? Those are the terms that have the same variable. Well, I see some terms here with the variable x, this one, and this one here. And I see some terms with variable y, like this one and this one here. And then we have two terms, this and this, that don't have any variables. So when we're going to combine these, we'll need to make sure we're only combining terms that have the same variable or like terms. So to start, I'm gonna rewrite this expression so my like terms are all next to each other. So starting with 24x, and then my like term here is plus 6x. So I have to make sure I keep my sign, positive or negative, with my coefficient, so I have plus 6x. And then next I have my seven, so I have plus seven, and then my matching or my like term with seven is my negative three here, so minus three. And then what do I have? Plus 20y. And then my like term to 20y is over here, it's negative 14y. So I can say minus 14y. Perfect, so now I'm gonna go through and I'm going to combine my like terms. So if I have 24 X's and then I get six more X's, how many do I have? Yeah, I'll have 30 X. I can also think about combining my coefficients here. 24 plus six, that gives me 30. Then I have my variable X. And now I have seven minus three. So that will just give me plus four. And then I have 20 Y minus 14y. So if I have 20 of something and you take 14 of them away, how many do I have left? That's right, I'll have just six y's left. So this here is our equivalent expression to this long one up here. Nice. Let's try one more. So again with this one, we're going to combine like terms to write an equivalent expression. But what do I have here? There's some fractions for coefficients. And how many different variables do you see? I see three. I see an M here and an M here. I see an N here and an N here. And I see P right here. So let's start by rewriting this expression. So we have all of our like terms next to each other. So I'll start, I have one, fourth m, and then I'm gonna add three fourths m, and then I have my five n, so plus five n, and then right here I have minus n, so this is negative one here, but I don't have to write that one, so I can just say minus n, and then lastly I have my plus seven P. Great, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna combine my like terms. So here I can think about this, it might be easier to think about my coefficients. I have one fourth plus three fourths. So one fourth plus three fourths. Addition, I add across the top, one plus three, that gives me four. I keep my denominator the same, four. So four over four, we know that, is just equal to one. So this would be one M and I can rewrite this without the one, so I can take my one away and I just have my M, perfect. Now what about my like terms with N? I have five N 
minus one n. So if I have five n's and you took one of them away, I would be left with just four n's. And then with my last term here, my seven p, what do I do? I just bring it down, it's its own term plus seven p. So here we go. This is our equivalent expression here. We added with our fraction coefficients and we simplified this long expression up here. Amazing work. Nice work simplifying those long expressions. Now you can practice doing some on your own. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey.